Hi there, Wycliffe Barrett, X-Plane Dedicated Sim Deck. This is part four of the MD11F tutorial. Um, we are going to be doing the descent, descent configuration and landing into Athens. Uh, so I've done four parts to the tutorial. Um, I hope you found them useful and uh, I've enjoyed recording them. We've done the fuel configuration, power on and FMC configuration, engine startup, taxi and departure, and now we're on the final one, which is descent configuration and landing. So here you see me over Corfu. Uh, we're descending towards Athens and um, I've set the altitude for 3,200 feet. Uh, which is what the capture is into Athens. So, and also I need to click on profile to make sure that that's checked. So you checked profile, so it will continue its descent down. Uh, originally, I think I was at flight level 360, 340. So at my top of descent, I put in 3,200 feet um, and the aircraft has followed the descent profile all the way down, stopping at constraints uh, when required. And uh, we're descending down to 3,200 feet now for our final approach into Athens. So you need to check that your dialer flap is set to 20. Uh, check the FMC for the correct ILS frequency and course and it's a case of gear down and lights for landing obviously so uh, I think we're gonna have uh, three green lights the the landing gear takes quite a while to come down so you know you need to make sure that you um, operate the uh, gear lever down flat uh, gear lever down lever quite quickly then you get three green lights for gear down as you can see, uh, flaps are extended. I think we're at uh, almost full flap. Um, big old aircraft and those flaps are like barn doors in actual fact. So we're just going to check that uh, we've got Athens. Yep, there's Athens Airport. There's the runway. Uh, it looks as though we're uh, descending nicely. But at some point or another, you're going to need to decide whether you're going to do an auto land or a full uh, manual landing. Um, generally, uh, it's a roundabout now that you've been making those decisions. Also making sure that uh, your lights are set, landing lights are set, and um, your brakes are set as well. So we're coming up to 1,000 feet. It's time to decide, is this going to be a full auto land, or will you land it manually? Um, generally, I tend to land it manually, um, but you know, until, until we get to 1,000 feet, then it's still full auto flight, okay? So all the time you need to be checking your um, cockpit, checking the, the uh, overhead, making sure that you know everything's set. Uh, I'm looking for the Vazi lights there, I can't see them, but hopefully there'll be two red and two white because I am descending uh, down the glide slope in the short while, so I need to check. Also check your Q&H, make sure that that is correct for your landing airport. We're obviously going through a little bit of moist air, as you can see. So flaps full for landing, ground spoilers are armed, uh, final cockpit scan. I've also set brakes. Uh, I think I set brakes medium or two. Um, it's, it's a nice long runway at Athens. So it's now my aircraft, I think. And uh, at this point, the aircraft should just descend. Whatever you do, try to resist the the, the temptation to have a look around sightseeing and what have you because this is the point where you could lose control of the aircraft when you're having a look in your external views unless of course you're really happy and you know what you're doing autopilot's disengaged my aircraft the aircraft is perfectly trimmed or should be uh, and uh, we're on the glide slope and we're also uh, localizer established as well so we're established on the localizer descending on the glide just having a quick look around outside, making sure my gear, all my gear was down as we come down to the runway here at Athens. Nice long flight, well I say long, an averagely long flight from uh, from the UK, from Cardiff to Athens, approximately three hours if I recall off the top of my head, something I'd have to check. Nice scenery as we're coming in, really nice, aircraft is very stable. Feet on the rudder pedals, uh, just in preparation in case there's wind shear, which I hope there won't be. Here we go, we're coming down to the runway. And push down at Athens Airport. So there you have it, a complete flight from 
start up to la uh, landing with everything in between. Well, I hope you find the video useful. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed making this video for you. Um, there is a lot more to this aircraft than what I've shown in these tutorials. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link you to a fantastic video that's on YouTube. I'm going to put that link in the description below, which is a, a cockpit preparation video for the MD-11. And I mean, I've watched it and you learn so much about the MD-11. It's amazing. Hope you've enjoyed it, found it useful. Please give me a thumbs up, click on like, share and subscribe because the YouTube algorithm loves all that stuff and I'd be really grateful and it would help me also. We'll see you soon. Cheerio.